Enroll Motors is in some seriously hot water right now and it's going to cost them a fortune. We're talking millions of dollars being paid out to owners of Chevy and GMC trucks and SUVs. And the problems are as wild as they are frustrating. Imagine you're cruising down the highway in your brand new GMC truck, and suddenly, the front grille piece just decides to take flight. It peels right off, vanishes into thin air, and probably gets obliterated by the car behind you. That's not the opening scene of a cartoon, that's a real-life issue owners are facing. But that's just the appetizer. The main cause of problems is under the hood. GM's V8 engines, the ones they love to put in popular models like the Chevy Tahoe, the Z71, and GMC pickups, are turning out to be a massive liability. We're talking about the 5.3-liter and the 6.2-liter V8s. These power plants are failing catastrophically, sometimes within just days or weeks of a customer driving their shiny new truck off the dealership lot. It's one thing to have a minor issue, but it's a whole other level of nightmare when the engine decides to put a giant hole in the block, leaving you and your $80,000 vehicle stranded on the side of the road. Before we continue, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel with the bell notification turned on for more updates. The real kicker is that this isn't some new, unknown issue. It's been happening for a while, and it seems like GM CEO Mary Barra has been playing a long game of ignore the problem. Hundreds of thousands of these engines have failed before the company decided to take any real widespread action. Some owners have hit the ultimate unlucky jackpot, experiencing both the flying grill and the exploding engine on the same truck. One owner of a 2022 GMC AT4X, which is supposed to be the baddest truck GMC makes, reported burning an insane amount of oil between changes, and, you guessed it, also lost his grill during turkey season in Kansas. This person, a longtime GM loyalist with another truck that has over 267,000 miles on it, is now facing a broken truck with only 42,000 miles on the odometer. It's stories like these that are making even the most devoted GM fans think about switching brands for the first time in decades. These engine and grill fiascos are just two of the most recent issues, chipping away at the reliability of Chevy and GMC vehicles, and it feels like this is only the beginning of a much larger story. This isn't even GM's first rodeo with major safety problems. They have a long and unfortunate history of sweeping defects under the rug until they become too big to hide. Remember the ignition switch scandal linked to multiple deaths? Yeah, that was them. They have a pattern of apologizing only after being caught and forced to recall millions of vehicles. So now, they're bracing for another major financial hit. The company is finally recalling nearly 600,000 vehicles because their V8 engines can fail without any warning creating a serious risk of a crash. The culprit? Manufacturing defects in critical components, like the connecting rod and crankshaft. After over 28,000 reported engine failures, GM is finally addressing their 6.2-liter L87 V8 engines. Its new recall focuses on the rod bearings and other components in the bottom end of the engine. This is especially ironic because, in a previous video, we talked about a different recall that caused lifter failures in the top end of other engines. So, engines are failing at both ends, yet if you go to GM's website, you'll still see the Chevy 1500, proudly touted as America's most dependable truck according to JD Power and Associates. It makes you wonder if we're living in an alternate reality, where you can just pay for an award and pretend your problems don't exist. How can a vehicle with this many catastrophic issues be shouted from the rooftops as the most dependable? It just doesn't add up. So, what is GM's grand solution to this engine disaster? It's actually pretty interesting and has everyone talking. It all comes down to the oil. When these trucks and SUVs with the V8 engines are first delivered, they come filled with a super thin oil called Zero W20. A lot of new manufacturers are using these thin oils because they help meet strict emissions regulations and improve gas mileage. The engines have tighter tolerances and the thin oil makes them run more efficiently and a bit cooler. But here's the problem. These aren't tiny little sedans. These are gigantic trucks and massive SUVs that weigh a ton. When an engine has to work that hard to push all that weight, it generates a massive amount of heat. And when an engine gets hot, oil gets thinner. When the oil gets too thin, it can't properly protect the engine's internal components, leading to those catastrophic failures. GM's fix is a two-part process. If you bring your truck in and they find specific damage or scarring inside the engine, they'll replace the entire engine. But if your engine looks okay on the inside, their solution is to tell you to switch from the thin 0W20 oil to a much thicker 0W40 oil. In simple terms, the first number in an oil weight refers to its viscosity when the engine is cold, and the second number is for when the engine is hot. So a 40-weight oil when the engine is warm provides much better protection than a 20-weight. 
Some people even think you should go even heavier, like a 5W30 or 5W40, especially if you live in a hot climate like Texas, for that extra bit of protection during cold starts and under heavy load. But this so-called fix has created a whole new set of problems and a lot of unhappy customers. For one, many people see this as just a band-aid solution. They're worried that by the time the thicker oil eventually fails to prevent a problem, the truck will be out of warranty and they'll be stuck with a gigantic repair bill out of their own pocket. The second issue is even more interesting and has actually led to a lawsuit. Owners are arguing that once they switch to the heavier oil their fuel economy is going to drop, and they're absolutely right. One of the main reasons manufacturers use thin oil is to squeeze out every last mile per gallon. A thicker oil makes the engine work harder, reducing fuel economy. So, owners are stuck between a rock and a hard place, risk your engine blowing up on the highway, or accept that you're going to be visiting the gas pump more often. It's a terrible choice to have to make, especially on such an expensive piece of machinery. At least GM is finally acknowledging the problem, but the solution feels incomplete and has left a lot of people in a very tough spot. Now, for a bit of whiplash, let's hop over to a Chevy dealership because not everything GM touches turns to rust. They have actually gotten something incredibly right, and it's a masterpiece of engineering, the new Corvette. This car is a stunner from every angle. It looks aggressive, modern, and unmistakably Corvette, especially from the front. The back has a hint of Camaro in its taillights, but it totally works. The real magic, however, is under the glass behind the seats. The V8 engine in this car is an absolute gem. It's a flat plane crank monster that sounds less like a traditional American muscle car and more like a high-revving exotic Italian supercar. It's a glorious noise. And this is where the confusion sets in. How can the same company that engineered this mechanical symphony of a V8 for the Corvette get it so horribly wrong with the V8s they put in their trucks? They've been making truck V8s for decades. You'd think they'd have it figured out by now. Maybe the solution is simple. Fire the truck engine team and put the Corvette engine team in charge of everything. So, where does this leave us? GM is a company of wild contradictions. They can build an awe-inspiring world-class sports car engine for the Corvette, yet they can't seem to stop their truck engines from self-destructing. They create a potentially awesome electric Hummer but price it into the stratosphere. They have a legendary nameplate like the Blazer and completely waste it on a boring crossover. Their solution to the engine crisis is a controversial oil change that tanks fuel economy and might just be delaying the inevitable. It's a confusing time to be a GM customer. The big question remains, is switching to a thicker oil a genuine long-term fix, or is it just a clever mask to get these trucks past the warranty period, leaving owners holding the bag when the engine finally lets go? Only time will tell. But for now, the future of GM's reliability is looking pretty cloudy.